In Sweden, they design SUVs just a little differently. Take this one, Volvo's XC40, a contender that's much more than just a smaller version of the brand's larger models. It gets its own CMA platform and some very distinct design to set itself apart. The result is an interesting alternative to more mainstream premium branded compact SUVs like BMW's X1 and the Mercedes GLA, and one you might rather like. Volvo SUVs aren't generally burdened with customer expectations of super sharp handling dynamics, but they absolutely must ride with decorum, function with refinement and be relaxing to use. If that defines the minimum requirement here, then I'd say the XC40 slightly exceeds it without ever really allowing any degree of driving enjoyment to get in the way of its day-to-day -day duties. Few segment rivals manage to be much different and offhand, I can't think of any of them that ride much better than this car over poor surfaces. Tarmac tears, expansion joints and speed humps are dispatched with the kind of confidence you might more ordinarily expect from a much larger model. All of which means that on the test drive your first impressions will probably be quite positive. True, the steering doesn't provide much feedback, but it's nicely weighted and pleasingly direct, complementing the fact that sudden changes of direction aren't as unwelcome here as they are in some high-sided affordable SUVs. That's mainly thanks to this car's new tech compact modular architecture CMA platform, a world removed from the heavy clunky underpinnings that previous compact Volvo models have had to lug about. Engine-wise, the conventional power plants we're focusing on here kick off with a 1.5-litre three-cylinder petrol model developing 156 horsepower. Most buyers, though, will want one of the 2-litre units, probably the 150-horsepower diesel D3, because it gives you choice – front or four-wheel drive, manual or auto transmission. There's reasonable frugality, too – a front-driven manual D3 variant capable of up to 58.9 miles to the gallon on the combined cycle and up to 127 grams per kilometre of CO2. All the other 2-litre models come in all-wheel drive auto form only. There are 190 horsepower T4 petrol and D4 diesel derivatives uh, – we're trying the D4 here – and a top 247 horsepower T5 flagship petrol variant. The obvious way to style this car would simply have been to merely shrink the themes established with Volvo's larger SUVs. That's usually what competitors do. But British XC40 designer Ian Kettle wanted this car to be different, which is why we've got this – a concept inspired by the small robots he used to watch in science fiction films. Curvy conformity is replaced by chunky cuteness with a transformer-like vibe. Not everyone will like it, but then if everyone did, it wouldn't be such an interesting piece of design. Let's take a seat up front. A dose of crushing conventionality here would have been a disappointment after the extrovert exterior. Fortunately, that's not what's been served up. Instead, you get digital dials, a dose of Swedish minimalism, and door cards made out of a weird felt, apparently fashioned from recycled drinks bottles. There are door bins, bigger than any you'll have ever seen, and the designers have somehow crammed in the 9-inch portrait-style census infotainment screen that is used in larger Volvo models, framing it with these unusual Star Wars-style vertical vents. Interested yet? Time to try out the back. Headroom's generous, even if you've got this panoramic glass roof fitted. The relatively lengthy wheelbase helps with legroom, too. We're not so keen on the way that the angled style of the rear C-pillar might create something of a claustrophobic feel back here for younger folk. If you've children, take them along on the test drive to make sure they'll be happy here. Finally, let's take a look in the boot. This power-operated tailgate can be fitted, but you don't really need it because the tailgate's relatively light, and when raised, reveals a low loading lip over which you access a cargo area rated at 460 litres. 
whatever your point of comparison, you'll struggle to find a rival that would allow you to use the boot area so practically. That's if you specify the optional convenience pack we've got fitted here, which gives you a 12 volt socket along with a low protection net, and which can divide the space laterally to stop your shopping from sliding around. The hinges of this divider even stand proud of its top edge, giving you hooks from which you can hang shopping bags. Neat. And in summary, well, most of the other cars in this segment are merely smaller versions of existing models and collectively offer much the same kind of confection served up in only slightly different ways. In selecting between them, your decision will probably come down to things like price and spec. In contrast, you'd choose an XC40 because you really wanted to, because it offered something you simply couldn't get elsewhere, something a bit more unique when it comes to this class of car. If that's what you want, Volvo thinks it has a contender that'll interest you very much.